Hello, my name is uh, Eska. I work as a guest janitor slash cinematic artist <laughs> slash motion graphic artist for IO Interactive, creating the coolest game ever, Hitman. I'm not, I'm not sure I can do a follow on that. <laughs> uh, my name is uh, Nick, and I'm also a cinematic artist. Uh, yeah, yeah, together. But you're are. not a guest janitor. That's only me. Yeah. Together we uh, are a small team that do uh, the motion graphics for the briefings. Yeah. Yeah. Should maybe uh, uh, lay it all out. Yeah. Nick has been here since season one doing the briefings. I have been here since season two doing briefings. And then once we started the DLC package, our uh, beautiful and new director Cosmo Wallace pushed us towards doing uh, in-game cutscenes, mm. and so, so that's, that's a, what we try to quite achieve. Quite a quest yeah. to uh, figure it out because uh, yeah. it's a big process to do uh, like in-game uh, cinematics yeah. and and uh, yeah, but it turned yeah. out cool. Yeah, mm. I hope you like, guys like it. A good example is like the first the first hurdle we had was like uh, we couldn't do like audio, so we couldn't do people talking and render that out from engine mm. because usually when you see stuff in a game you usually see it like uh, in real time hmm. but the briefings are a menu based video so we had to pre-render a lot from the engine and so one of the things was that you basically couldn't render out uh, audio and facial expressions as a way in i'll tell the pilot to turn the plane around but it was like yeah. we had those the, the facial expressions that weren't queued up to audio so the render team had to kind of like kind of basically do that, yeah. uh, fixing that issue, uh, and that's like one of the small things we encounter mm. basically every day, yeah. where we we very much rely on like the entire house yeah. for help, because it might be animation, it might be environment, it might be lighting, yeah, and everybody because is yeah, involved, so that's also why we we try yeah. to think of it as a small RPG game. Uh, yeah, we go from one wizard to another wizard. Yeah, we get pointed into a new quest. And yeah. uh, that's how we solve. Uh, yeah. yeah, so we should say that we have uh, the writers. They uh, yeah. they come in. Yeah. Give small, us part. Yeah, small part. Small part. Small <laughs> part. No. <laughs> no, they come in, give us a script. Uh, we we look through it, like, uh, kind of break it down into blocks, and then uh, we try to do a storyboard. And uh, we try to visualize, like, how could, we, how could we show the coolest way possible? Uh, like how do we show the story uh, in a in a in one minute? Yeah. Uh, without it being too complicated. Yeah. So we try to uh, yeah, break it down, talk to a director, and and yeah, sort out the angles, uh, symbology, and all yeah. all that. And uh, if there's something that's too hard to illustrate, we can go back to the writer. Hey, can you change this to uh, something yeah. else? Yeah. So that's a big uh, big part of yeah. it. I think we learned a lot from season two, mm. uh, the briefings, because that's obviously what we did uh, back then. That yeah. sounds like it was ages ago. Um, was like doing these abstract visualization of a backstory. Because when you do a backstory for a level, you don't necessarily have the backstory that's written within the, within the certain level. Mm. So f one, one example is Raccoon. We did that recently. Um, we had this traveling story of 47 and Lucas Gray going from Isle of Scale, mm -hmm. where we left off in season two, moving to New York. And this travel from Isle of Scale to New York had a lot of different places where we had to go. Um, and all of, the, all of these places, we basically had to like build, build uh, these scenes. So, and, and basically what we did is like we used old stuff like a library and uh there's like an airstrip scene where we're using this basically just in colorado <laughs> where we move off to the distance and then we start placing a plane and placing the racetrack from miami as a landing strip and uh yeah yeah, 
Yeah, and the it small, is a lot the of small like island uh, they uh, they take the plane from. I think that's yeah. uh, the rocks from uh, Isle of Scale. Yeah. And yeah. uh, the backdrop is maybe something. Is it it's Columbia like or something? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sunset. We uh, steal something. Can. Yeah. So. Basically, steal from the library. Yeah. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> Yeah, and then we usually move on to, again, these abstract visualizations. Yeah. Uh, Raccoon is, again, a good uh, example. We have uh, a lot of talk about, like, providence and why is Athena Savalas, uh, this yeah. evil woman, uh, that can be a little bit hard to explain within the level. Also, because we want to keep stuff secret and not reveal yeah. too much before we move into the level. So it's basically like, telling a story of why you're here but also leaving a lot for the players to experience themselves mm. because you could end up just like showing the entire level uh yeah. and that 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 probably wouldn't be too uh yeah. that probably wouldn't be too good for the player to <laughs> to like have everything sorted out yeah i have the entire map now let me go play and get no surprises at all <laughs> Okay, so the next uh, next step mm -hmm. is uh, after we plugged out the storyboard, we're gonna do uh, rough animations, and that uh, is called an animatic. So that's maybe just uh, you know uh, early early model of a 3D 3D stuff, uh, very yeah. crude, yeah. but just to get a flow of the movie and uh, get uh, the camera movement, movement right yeah. and yeah. Uh, so before you do it all nice and, uh, and shiny. Yeah. You just want to do uh, get get the right flow of the movie. Yeah. So we can. Uh, so we yeah, can you don't want to spend too much so. time on like creating something that looks incredibly beautiful, and then you figure out oh, the cameras yeah. were all that shit. That doesn't make sense. Uh, yeah. yeah, it doesn't make sense, or just like poorly done. That doesn't add yeah. up to the story, yeah. and yeah, yeah. And totally. that does happen sometimes. Like we do a scene, and then you you look at it, and like yeah. you have to step ha back, and then it hasn't it's happened like to me yet, but uh, yeah. <sighs> <laughs> I need to go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. No. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Usually do the animatic, then we start like texturing, lighting, mm -hmm. blocking up the yeah. entire cinematic, basically, like yeah. uh, very crude scenes. So if we have a, a scene with 47 and Lucas Gray meeting up, there's no animations on him. It's basically like the two models yeah, in like T-pose yeah. moving up to each other, having a conversation and then yeah. moving off again. And then once that we're getting closer and closer, yeah. animation starts doing their magic. And then uh, once, you, once you... A like, big thanks. Yeah. Thank you again <laughs> to the animators. Yeah. And once you get closer, like when you get it in there, it's very crude. And then... Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, then... Uh, then you can start chopping it up, and then uh, that's also where uh, cinematics director comes in, and he's like, because he, he knows he can see that stuff, right? Yeah. So that's uh, iteration, iteration. You can you can just yeah. see once the uh, animation gets more flushed, you can see the flow of the movie. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. and it's also again very very important, I think, to support the 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 director basically. So Cosmo very often has a a, a good idea of what the story is about because he obviously was in on writing it <laughs> along he didn't write it but but he's in on the process of creating these stories mm. for this elaborate universe um and in 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 connection and alongside him mm. we start blocking up a lot basically the entire movie with very again very crude uh, animations yeah. and so on and then you start polishing because like you need uh, you need the basic story to be there mm. before you can start uh, polishing, I guess. Yeah. Uh, I actually say twenty percent of the production is yeah, almost yeah, yeah. like yeah. making it look nice and, and polishing yeah. up, right? Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, so that's uh, that's like a small insight yeah. to uh, I guess what at least the two of us do mm. uh, at the uh, cinematic department. Yeah, a very shortened down version yeah. of uh, the process. Uh, yeah. Of uh, doing a cinematic. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and again, like super nice like to a, have. Yeah. Uh, it's open cool help. that you have uh, you have a place where there's so many wizards. At one. It was spot. a quest. <laughs> it is a quest. A quest of creating great briefings and cinematics. <gasps> Mind drop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, Clemens. <laughs> <laughs>